Hello my beautiful people, how are you? Today I have this gradient graphic liner, cat eye, whatever this makeup look is. I'm having a hard time lately to name my um, makeup tutorials because I don't know what this is. Like, let me know down below. What, what, what is this? A graphic liner, a cat eye liner, whatever. So I'm going to create this uh, ombre cat eye graphic liner. <laughs> you guys want to see how easy it is to achieve. Thank you for watching. Insert the transition that way. Ria, this video is for you, babe. You asked for this tutorial and I'm here to deliver. Okay? I mean, if the camera wants to focus, I've used Lee. I'm going to show you how easy it is to do this. I'm having a hard time coming up with names for my makeup tutorials. Lately, what is this? A graphic liner? A wing line? A cat eye? You let me know in the comments below. But I'm going to show you how easy it is to create this beautiful gradient cat eye. Let's call it a cat, cat eye. Let's call it a cat eye. So I'm going to use three eyeshadows and one brown eyeliner. From the Focalure Crystal Eyeshadow Palette, I'm going to use the shade... Uh, I cannot pronounce these. So I'm going to use this lighter brown and then this chocolate brown right here and from my latte to from Dominique Cosmetics I'm going to use the coffee beans which is the darker brown like darker brown right here and as I said I'm going to use a brown um, liquid liner honestly this is not the best this is from the brand Mina or Trina I have no idea how this brand is called also I'm going to use three small detail brushes so I have a very tiny angled brush like this one then I have another one that looks like this and then I have another one that looks like this okay so first I'm going to start with the darker brown shall I come closer? anyway you see what I'm doing here like I'm close enough right? oh my god about my mic! oh my goodness I forgot about my mic did you guys heard what I just said earlier? I really hope so. Okay, so I'm going to start with the small angle brush. And I'm going to pick the darker brown shade. I'm going to tap the excess. And I'm going to try to match it to this eye, but honestly, it, <coughs> they won't match. Okay, and that's totally fine. I'm going to try my best though. <laughs> okay, so this is the hardest part. I'm going to do a straight line like this. And as I said, I'm going to try to make it look very, 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 very similar to this eye. But it won't look identical. Okay? <laughs> Okay, that will do. So I'm going to build this line right here. I'm going to make it a little bit thicker, a little bit darker. Next, I'm going to take this medium brown shade from the Focalure eyeshadow palette. And I'm going to pick this tiny brush. And I'm going to go right where this ends like right where the first shade ends right here I'm trying to achieve that ombre effect I thought my camera wasn't focusing and I'm going to follow my crease right here like right where the lid folds, I'm going to go with my brush in there, but very, very light hand. And I'm going to enhance my crease. Does that make sense? I really hope so. 
I'm not good at explaining things. Next I'm going to take this brush and I'm going to go with the lightest brown, just a little bit, not too much. I'm going to apply it right in the center and try to blend the second shade we just used. Don't go crazy, okay? And I know it doesn't look like much right now, but no worries. As I said, trust the process. We're going to build the shades. We want to start light hand and then go and build the shades, okay? So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to look for a cute song for you. So you can enjoy this tutorial. Because I'm not going to talk. As I said, you need to be focused, okay? That's why I'm so close to the mirror. I need to be focused. Okay, I'm going to wait for my camera to focus on my face. Um, so I'm going with my brown liquid liner. Come on, camera. Come on, camera. Good. So I'm taking my liquid liner and I'm going to outline what we just did. Exactly like on this side. And this is the trickiest part. You need to be very focused and very close to the mirror. And don't put too much pressure with the liner because you're going to create these thick lines. You don't want that. Uh, even though we are going to go with the darker brown on top of this, just take your time, okay? Take your time. As I said, this is not the best liner. <sighs> I'm not even breathing at this point. <sighs> okay, we are halfway there. I'm going to shake it so I can bring the product to the tip. Camera, please focus. So I'm going with the first eyeshadow we used the darker brown hello yeah what are you saying what are you doing hmm? what are you doing she left <laughs> And now I'm going to go with the other two uh, eyeshadows that we used. And now I'm going to take this brush and whatever um, eyeshadow left over I have on it. I'm going to create this angle in my inner corner honestly i'm not a fan because on me it doesn't look that good but from far it looks okay so first i'm going with this brush that's a lot <laughs> and i'm going to do just a tiny little line in there with the liquid liner and then i'm going to blend it again with that angled brush You see, like, if I'm doing this, there's a gap in there. But if I stay normal, like, if I don't raise my eyebrows... This eyeliner is playing with my nerves. Like, why would this work? You know what? Forget about this eyeliner. I think I have enough product in there. 
So I'm going back with this brush and I'm going to clean it a little bit because I don't want that much product on it. Oh, this is another brush. <laughs> Make sure you use the right brushes. So I'm going to clean it because I don't want that much product on it. And I'm going to blend a little bit this line. We just, I mean, it's not even a line, <laughs> but whatever. So I'm going to blend the liquid liner. I mean, if it wants to be blended, obviously. Mm. I'm going to take a small detail brush and I'm going to clean right here because you can still see a little bit of eyeshadow in there, but if you don't want to do that, it's totally up to you. So I'm going to take a brush like this one very tiny very detailed brush and i'm going to use my concealer and now again we need to be very focused and we are done i just need to apply some lashes and that's it Okay, so I just applied my lashes. I went with um, Wispies from Ardell. So I need to let the glue dry and then I'm going to apply a little bit of mascara to blend my lashes. Like you can see my lashes and the fake ones. So I need to apply a little bit of mascara and um, curl them together so they blend. And on my lips, I already have a little bit of the BFF liner. And some lip gloss, so I'm going to retouch my lips. Okay, you can see shit. <laughs> and then I'm going to go with the Jelly Wow from She Glam. I don't like this stopper on this one because there's so much product coming out. Like, look at this. I'm going to clean the top right here and you will see how much product there is. You see, that, that that's a waste of product. So the stopper is not amazing on this one. I'm going to put it back in because of bitch. Why not? The stopper is not amazing on this lip oil, but the product is absolutely bomb. Alrighty beautiful people, so this is the final look. I am in love with how this turned out. I mean, it's my second time uh, doing this uh, cat eye graphic line or whatever makeup this is as I said you can use whatever colors you like or you have but I like the brown because it's not too intense but it's still there you can say it obviously I mean it's brown but it's not black you know so it's not too intense I don't know it looks sophisticated let me know what you think in the comments down below and uh, as I said Ria this tutorial is for you thank you for asking me to film it so I hope you like it. Let me know what you think. Uh, and that's it. Beautiful people. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Take care. And I will see you in my next one. I was trying to blink.